Hello. Hey. Brothers and sisters. The road behind has been long. Sat and fought with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival. Now turn this up more. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressive. Oh, this dude looks cool. Question. Now that the ship is in position, it is Thanks, time to sir. reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly. And many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Hi. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. I can see that. They're playing with fire. And we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Sure. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better record. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Ooh. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. His hands clipping through his chest. <coughs> uh. So this is episode seventeen, I guess. Mm. Status report. Across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Congratulations mm. on the promotion, Knight. Ooh, you got a promotion too? That's nice. La -di -da. Hey, uh, how did it Paladin work Dance. Out there? there you We've are. Got a lot of work how did it go with Elder Maxis? Um, he's impressive. I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking hmm. bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but hmm. if you screw up, we go down together. Okay. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. Yeah. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to Damn know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. 
Uh, I'll go alone. I'll go it alone for now, and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum can be fatal. Hungry. Rations are first come, first served. Hmm. I'm pleased we were assigned to the same team. I think we can learn a lot from each other. Don't care. Don't care. How the hell does this thing stay afloat? Oh. Those aren't very big, considering how much is in here. Oh, I guess there's more. Well, it's a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. I'm just gonna steal your personal belongings on purpose. Let's see. There's three cats. Ooh, she loves me. Trust me, you know. Good. Firing. Shotgun shell mine. Fusion car in a cell. Is mine? Human-looking synths are the worst. They hide in plain sight. You sure manage to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? Hmm? I suppose so. I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> in my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Poison? Someone poisoned you? Are you kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I'd just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so... I figured I'd pop over to the dugout in for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Dean, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is. The still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. Blech. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Nice. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly... Now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Get in trouble. Damn straight. That's what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just. No. I live for glory. Not. not for glory sense, but, you know. I'm real happy to glory, be glory. I can't really flirt with her. I'm well, glad you're here. I'm glad you're here too, Piper. Thanks, Blue. Why do you keep calling me Blue? That means a lot coming from you. Oh, so jumpsuit. You that's get why. Out of here? No, I want to loot this place. I can't believe Super Mutant human once. How could science have gone so wrong? I heard that Elder Maxon got that scar on his face. Why the fuck do you have a Brahmin skull there? I'll take the psycho. Alright, alright. Don't tell Lindsay, okay? Old wasp, targeting card. fuel. Around? Hell yeah. Shotgun shells. Nuka Colas. Wait, that was a Nuka Cola too. If you 
run into any sense. Shoot to kill. We don't take prisoners. How the hell do I get in there? Um, who are you? Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Hey. Are you ready for your medical exam? Uh, sure. Sarcastic. As long as it doesn't involve petroleum jelly and rubber gloves, I'm ready. No, no. This isn't that sort of examination. I'm going to ask you a series of medical related questions, and I'd like you to answer me. To the best of your ability. Okay. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Um. Before the war. There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? L let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down cool. the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't. Second okay, so. question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? I've never been. Or I don't remember. A diseases. Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Well... Yes, actually. It's not unusual for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments for disease-carrying creatures. We don't want a single crewman infecting the entire ship. Anyway, mm. uh, this exam is about you, so... Have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? I don't think so. Honestly, I don't remember. Well... You don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Okay. Third question, and please answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Uh... That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Aww. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Not really. Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Okay, I'm gonna seal your stuff now. IV bag. Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it. I'll play that. Medical report, Knight Captain Cade reporting. I've been working closely with Scribe Naraya, examining some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover the synths that appear completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly advanced. What's becoming mm. apparent is that the Institute is the most technologically gifted enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore, Exceedingly dangerous. I've turned over all of my data to Lancer Captain Kells, along with my recommendations for developing effective countermeasures for these synths. Unfortunately, 
I'm not sure how much it will help, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us. <gasps> it's a kitty! Ah, good. We'll finally hear. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Wait, what? Oh my god, you're British. What? Not even a thank you. I hardly need to... Oh my. It appears I've mistaken you for someone else. Since it's obvious that sexy you are British person. expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Uh... Meeting the crew. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. I could help. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts, anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. Ooh. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. That's neat. Now where? Call me old fashioned, but there's nothing better than being boots on there. Try it now. Nothing. I'm supposed to Excuse me, Hi. Proctor Ingram. Yeah, so, you're the new recruit I heard about. You're the one who decided to uh, your way Not what I was fire. expecting. <laughs> Got it. There it is. I can handle myself. I can handle myself. Hey, if Paladin Dance vouched for you, that's good enough for me. You just don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet Duh, I'm gonna vault you, you. Well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the crude one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Okay. While you're at it, my car's making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Mm, I hardly noticed. I hardly noticed. Hmm. Can't tell if you're patronizing me or trying to be polite. How about I just forget you mentioned it? Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty mm -hmm. decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, mm -hmm. I need to get back to work. Where's your legs? Oh my god, you don't have legs. You're a synth. Open fire! We'll stop the institute for Maxon and for the Brotherhood. Uh huh. Whatever. There's nothing useful here. If you're looking for ammunition and weapon mods. Talk to Keegan. Ooh. Right now, Duct tape. Always good. What's this? Ooh, master. Master. Step forward, Knight. You know where are you off to? Not here. Can I steal from those? I guess I can. Tegan. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, they promised that I would find them. Looks uncomfortable. Not really here to yeah. chit chat. I had orders to meet the crew. Rules, rules, rules. Everyone around here is so obsessed with the damn rules. I hope you're not another one of those by the book military types. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. 
If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. So if I'm out of caps, I guess I'll just defeat the enemy with my bare hands. There's plenty of spare ammo and equipment all over the ship. You can help yourself to anything you can find. Everything in here is a bit more specialized and unique. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps mm. on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. No. As long as I don't end up in the brig. Don't worry. Last thing I'd want to do is get our newest recruit in trouble. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need mm -hmm. anything else, gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. <laughs> Proctor Tegan. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage. Hurry up. I promise that I won't find it. Uh. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Uh -huh. This is the stowage depot. And I, the powers that be, if you need to stock up on... No. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agree. When I tell most of the new recruits that they the good news is by having a constant flow of cap. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm mostly interested. Don't care. It's all my shit. Caps on the side, huh? Well, it is. It just involves. Mm -hmm. And since I'm stuck up, after you're done with it, in the meantime. It, uh -huh. Okay then. Bye. Inspiration to us all, Knight. No, I'm not. I just got here. Sub dance. Wait, it's probably level. Ugh. See, can I get anything in my main tree? Not really. Get locksmith. Pick expert locks. Have you ever fired a minigun? Chews through ferrules like paper. The last person that disobeyed Captain Kell ended up scraping rust off the Pridwin's hull from the outside. Ooh. Wait. What's in here? There's nothing in here. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. in trouble. Nice being on the move again. Fewer paper cuts than back home. You didn't see anything. <sighs> Outside. Take some of these. Ready for your next assignment, sister? Uh, what's the next assignment? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it then, shall we? Take okay. A look over there. That's Fort Strong, and it's infested with super mutants. Oh, Having shit. those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse. They're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Yep. 
What do these shells do? The Fat Man launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. It's a miniature nuclear payload in a man portable format. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure of firing them, allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. There won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. Is that enough to go on? Mm hmm. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Keeping nukes out of the hands of super mutants? Oh, we'll do our best, all right. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Cat. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Cool. If you find any technical documents, should bring them to talk to Quinlan for analysis. Quinlan. I like that bridges too. So helium or hydrogen along with these jet things. It's kinda cool. The view's nice. I think that submarine's like right over there. Satellite, right? I guess Sanctuary is somewhere all the way over there. I think that's Corvega right there in my, in my aiming sights. That's that boat place. Where are we going? Here? So if I board this, it's gonna take me around shooting that area, and we'll go over the time by at least six or seven minutes, so I'm just gonna end it here. So this should be epic. Don't fall off. Oh my god. So I'm gonna save. So this has been episode, what, 17? I'm Paul Pal on YouTube. Follow the phone. Yeah. Two wearing the pretty one. I just got pooped really bad. God damn it. What's with me having to go to the back in the middle of the episode, really? <coughs> <sighs> okay.